after you go say make civil servant no thief. My brother, if I get opportunity, I go thief them join. Even them when they just so, I go thief them. I'm telling you, it's so annoying. All right, lastly, before I let you go, I mean, if government decides not to move away from the 60,000, will this strike continue? And my brother, think this strike will yield any result? I know what make you finish your question. If they like, may they say no. Say they no go. Say may they still die for that 60,000 either when they talk. Then from there, now they go no say a hungry man is an angry man. And when the birds, when the hunters learn to shoot without missing, so the birds learn to fly without fetching. They go here and they go collect go to auto. Not be as the way we do as so. You get where we go do and reach now. We go they walk out for street, they destroy them, they kill themselves. Thank you so much. Sir. Because a hungry man is an angry man. As with the first so my brother, as I come here this morning, so I never show. I've been my children, they forbid to go to the high school when their children they go. They go carry their children, thief our money, take care of their children, go better school. When they finish, they'll come load their children over us again. They return say, experience, do you qualify? Do you have this qualification? Qualification of kid their parents there. Qualification of kid them. Nonsense people. Nonsense idiots. You know how much senator they collect a month? Even their SS, those days we go to school, say we no one be uh, touts. touts. Now touts be their SA and others, what they do for them. And do you know how much they collect? They, they collect they above three, four hundred thousand naira every month. They if they say we know, for just Kukuma sit down for touting. So that all of us go, they do touting. So, now so you be. Before they do touting, they will come so far, go school finish, go school finish, now we'll come and they come enter the civil service work. Then they will call the sofa house. They will call the sofa house. Yes. Yeah? Right. So as time goes on now, we go join the tout team so that make all of us the tout better. Better. Right. 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 Yes. That was an anger from one of the neighbor union member. Now, I want to talk about the issue of uh, the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. This video is not to disrespect him, but this video is all about setting the record straight and saying the truth as it is. It is time for everyone in Nigeria, no matter whom you are, it is time for you to stop bending the truth because of the person involved. Now, you saw this um, newspaper post from Daily Post. That was about 2014. Adeboye was on the street. He was hitting hard on Jonathan. And he was saying that Jonathan should end the suffering, do all those things. Yes, he was right. It is the duty of the president to bring policies that will make the people better. But now, what is going on? The Tinumbu you people supported. You people did everything. Read the election to make sure he has him into office. Now, Adeboye is telling us to call God. He is telling us to call on God because of the suffering in Nigeria. Woroshoinka, who was on the streets during the time of Jonathan, he said Jonathan is worse than Nebuchadnezzar. Now, every one of them has lost their voice. I heard that uh, Tinumbu has compensated them. Uh, Tinumbu gave uh, Adeboye one pinion. Tinumbu now named um, the wrong way of an airport after Woroshoinka. That is compensation, compensating them. Then, the suffering Nigerians that are left, you people should call on God, though. It's not Tinumbu, you people should call on God. They themselves have benefited. They won't partake in the suffering. They won't partake in the agony going on in Nigeria. But you people should call on God. It is God that you people are going to call. It's not Tinumbu. Tinumbu can change Nigeria. <laughs> well, the reason why it's important for you to leave the stage when it is necessary is because no matter how good the dancer is, or no matter how good dancers are, when they refuse to leave the stage, when it is time for them to leave, they will call them bad dancers. They will begin to dance wrong because a new style of dancing must have come out. People will abuse them. So no matter how good you are, it is important to know when to leave the stage. And that is what I'm telling Adeboye when we're showing you people are elderly men. You know, you have your own respects in so many ways. You have done something that people like before. It is time for you to leave the stage and keep quiet forever. Your children should be the one talking. You people don't know the reality. Adeboye, do you know the reality? Do you know what is going on? You don't know. You fly your private jet, you fly your helicopter, the fuel to fuel your helicopter is not the problem. The money you want to spend is not the problem. You have everything in your palm. So, what is going on in Nigeria has nothing to do with you. So, you saying that um, we should call on God. I, were you not there during the election when you were supporting Tinumbu? Don't you know that? Uh, why can't you support God? Is the God you supported during the election? 
You can't support Tinubu and begin to call God. God is not responsible for our predicament. God is not responsible for what is going on in Nigeria. Now we, we Christians should know when to call God and when not to call God. Though. How is God responsible? How are we going to call God? Call God for what? Call God for what? So, <laughs> you know, this thing is not a situation where someone will now. But the reason why I'm... I'm laughing when I'm thinking about all these things is that Nigerians have been brainwashed a lot. We have been psycho-conditioned a lot. They have given us, you know, a level feed to think that our suffering is of God. And you know this, let me tell you why I am beginning to hate religion. I do not hate Christianity. I'm a Christian, but I hate religion. And there is a very clear distinction between religion and Christianity. Now, I read the letter of King Leonard of Belgium, the letter he wrote to people who were in Congo. He said, these people, for you to get their gold, their crude oil, their mineral resources, you have to enslave them. And for you to enslave them, you have to tell them that they have to suffer on this in this earth. Why they suffer on earth? That their reward will be in heaven. This is a letter that King Leo sent to missionaries who are in uh, Angola. And that was what they were teaching us. Even while I was growing up, I learned that mentality through religion that forget about it, your reward is in heaven. Everything you are doing on earth, your reward is in heaven. Hey, it's not for this generation. In our generation, whatever you do on earth, you will receive the reward on earth, not heaven. So if you fuck up, you will receive the reward while you are alive. Not even when you have died. When you are alive, you will receive the reward. So no matter what you people are doing, Everything you people are doing, all this card you people are trying to play, everybody, including Adepo Ye, Wolo Shoyin Ka, Tinumbu, including myself, everything I am doing, if I sow evil seed, I will reap it while I die, if not when you die. And secondly, it's not God. We should stop calling God when we are not supposed to call God. Religion has destroyed Nigeria. To the extent that when things are going bad, they will try, politicians will try to use religion to deceive the people. If I go to any church, thank God for where I worship. If a pastor come out in the altar and begin to talk such a thing, I will switch the light in the church. It's not the time for you to deceive gullible people who don't have the faculty of reasoning, who don't sit and spend time to reason, who have not read the history, who don't understand where Nigeria is coming from and where Nigeria is going. So I don't think all these things are necessary. Call on God. I was reading the article, I said, you don't come again. Which one do we should call on God? Because he can't talk. They have used billions to shut his mouth up. Adebo, you can't talk. He can't talk to Tinumbu. He can't tell Tinumbu, this your policies are not good. Change it. He can't talk. So only thing he has to tell Nigerians, his followers, things are really hard, call on God. How can he tell his followers that the government is not doing fine? The government have given him one billion naira. How can we show him who have been criticizing Jonathan. Now he is mute. How can he talk when they have named a wrong way after him? When they have told us that it was Tinumbu wife for all those people who supported him when he came from Ezra. These people are playing with our destiny. They are playing game with our destiny. They are doing all sorts of things against our destiny. And I think time has shown that the people have toppled their leaders. History has demonstrated that when the people arise, that no force on earth, even the government, that can hold them down. Everything that you people have been calling for. In 2015, 2014, Woroshenka was calling for revolution against Jonathan. For it was 100 and something to Donda, uh, sorry, to Nera, Pandita. Donda was 100 and something. Things was very easier, but they called for a revolution. And now they are just turning against obedience, against the citizens. You people should be patriotic, patriotic under my foot. Do you know the meaning of patriotism? You people are the ones that are not patriotic. You people are not patriotic. You people want to eat us. You people want to kill us. You people want to destroy our destiny. Well, in the nutshell, what I'm trying to say is that God has nothing to do with affairs that is going on in Nigeria. It is we. It is us. And until we are ready to change our nation, dear reading Christian Church of God people, dear Christians, dear Muslim people, God is not responsible for what is going on in Nigeria. And God do not support the hardship, everything that is going on in Nigeria. Do not be deceived by what people are telling you. So it is not God. So that is what I have to say. Let me know what you think about this video and the comment made by Adeboye.